yes, 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 it's quite, it's quite so, it's very much so true, it's, it's, it's a new video, it's, 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 welcome, welcome to the video, um, hello, I'm, uh, ONG, I upload daily videos on, um, on the game known as Minesweeper for the, um, Windows, uh, Windows, uh, XP, uh, Minesweeper Gameplay 2010, thanks for watching, okay guys, uh, like the video, okay guys, welcome to a brand new video here on the YouTube channel, hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today, today we're gonna be talking about a very specific creepypasta, a unique one at that, and it is very fitting, as you guys can tell, I have my odor skeleton brothers here, uh, you may be like, how is a skeleton older than another skeleton, well, the, the wither skeletons are like a thousand years older than me as a skeleton which is kind of crazy i know that's why they're uh giants because of the you know the history of all that shenanigans of propaganda but anyways guys welcome aboard to a brand new minecraft video delivered by to ong why are you out here freaking grinding dude i'm like why are you out here judging me first off you know guys i think it's really unique that they put like flint and steel in like the chest in the nether because they just like know like someone's gonna make a big mistake and end up losing their flint and steel and their nether portal getting destroyed and they're just doomed but like how are you gonna get more obsidian i mean like <laughs> either way like getting trapped in the nether is probably one of the worst things that can ever happen to you as a minecraft player truthfully guys the nether is fine it's really cool to join into the nether and actually go across and find all the loot through the nether fortresses and fight off the wither skeletons and do everything of a like and actually have a blast doing it and uh well it can get creepy at times and well the wither skeletons are loud out obnoxious and everything of sort but uh one thing is for sure guys the nether is a very dangerous place it's a very it can be really annoying from the gas shooting fireballs at you from the blaze rods trying to set you aflame like it's just such an annoying place but it's a place that we find ourselves all the time be it if it's for getting xp via mining quartz or trying to get some glowstone to pimp out our actual world outside of the nether like or soul sand to start a nether world farm for our brewing pleasures like there's so many things that the nether world offers that we really can utilize to its fullest so it's like the nether is a really special thing in its own way and we should be thankful but at the same time, I'm not thankful for gas and all the other nuisances that fill this. Look at the gas. He's already there. He's crying. He's, he's just absolutely right. But guys, that doesn't change the fact that the nether is actually really creepy. And if we ask the concept, how in the world did a zombie pigman become an idea? And how did the gas and the sounds that the gas portray actually originate in a hole? Guys, there's a lot of creepy things about the nether as for it is su it's supposed to be the underworld of Minecraft. Perhaps this is the place where all negative entities and players of a like actually go when they die well it's very interesting because we don't have a heaven with minecraft all we know is we have the underworld which is kind of odd isn't it you would think with the underworld we would have like a heavenly realm or somewhere to go that is very pleasant somewhere that is very nice but that's not really the case all we have is the end i mean is the end supposed to be this projected heavenly place that I mean, it's the end. It's the end of all. So it's definitely interesting how they get the concepts of these different dimensions that you can go to in Minecraft and not having seen something such as the Aether yet is really a surprise. But at the same time, I think maybe not displaying an Aether, but kind of implementing floating islands or something of sort that may have wyverns flying through, kind of like in similarity to Terraria, uh, almost identical to Terraria, actually. An idea that is specific or somewhat sort of like that could be very, very in innovative and evolve. Furthermore, but getting back to what I was saying about the zombie pigmen. Pigmen, which is a man and a pig combined as one. This is where it gets creepy, guys. If we actually look throughout the history of paranormal activity and a lot of things in result to real ghost ghost stories i'm talking about ghost sightings guys there's actually multiple videos and evidence of things and creatures and ghosts appearing on camera that take the shape of what appears to be a pigman or a pig-like body and we have even heard audible voices at times from some of these clips saying I have the body of a pig which guys you may know some of the clips that I'm talking about in terms of the paranormal sightings and uh, occurrences that some people have experienced in desolate uh, places and it's almost like there's something tied with pig and men being combined 
and it's very very odd and creepy so guys this uh, this definitely the history and lore of this goes outside of minecraft to just be creepy in a hole and it makes you ask a lot of questions and it brings up even more to think that there are some weird undertones in this game now let's actually talk about the gas a little bit more in depth as well guys going more in depth about the gas the gas are these large creatures that when killed drop things known as gas tears and it seems as if they're crying and they sound like babies just crying day in day out out it's just really weird to think about and it's honestly odd to think where mojang's mind was when creating such a demented place that was going to be in a game played by children of all likes it's very odd but today guys bringing us to our feature presentation is the creepy poster we're talking about known as nether brian a lot of you have probably heard of nether brian there's a few creepy posters written up in nether brian but i wanted to specifically talk about nether brian and read one of the stories based around nether brian live on video for the first time with you guys so let's actually dive into it starting now <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen um the story so, I starting a new survival world, and when it loaded, everything looked normal, except the seed being 3-4 Nether Brine. Kind of twisted up in numbers. I panicked a bit. I punched some wood and explored. I then found a tree that was on fire, but there was no lava surrounding the tree. Holy crap, how did this tree go on fire if there's no lava pool surrounding that tree? I continued to explore in the world, and I found a sign. It said, I'm coming for you. I panicked. There were more trees on fire. What, what is happening, I said. I, I started to be on fire, but I, I managed to survive. W wait, wait, what? I, I didn't touch the fire, I said. Then I heard a creepy voice saying, I'm going to find you. Get ready. I panicked again. I pulled out my stone sword. I, a low-pitched gas sound was heard behind me. When I turned around, it was a figure similar to Herobrine, but with red eyes and netherrike skin. I pictured it, I pictured it before the game crashed. Listen, with a skeleton, I appreciate your contribution, but it is not needed. Take your donation elsewhere. Okay, guys, so that story is pretty much like the quick synopsis and summary of what this individual experienced. He created a new world, which the world was actually to go more in depth was 34NEO1TH4 or 940ERBR9INE. Which spells out a weird number numeration version of Nether Brine. Now, upon creating this world, I'm guessing from what we have of this story, he was just in the overworld, and then all of a sudden his trees started catching on fire for no apparent reason. After doing this, more started catching on fire. There was no lava pool or anything around from this, and an oh wow, that magma slime kind of startled me. <laughs> Oh, well, OG, you getting scared in the nether body? Shut up. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, so basically <laughs> the story is kind of weird, but, um, so then he actually got caught on fire. He looked around and he saw an entity known as that of Hero Brian. It appeared with netherrack skin. So after that, his game crashed. Well, the next day, let's continue. <sighs> what am I doing? Sorry about that, guys. The next day. I woke up to check my Minecraft world. When it loaded the world, it was severely laggy. Then I got teleported to a small island with Nether Brine. I tried to quit the game, but it didn't quit. I even tried to Alt F4, but it even didn't work. Weird grammar. Nether Brine started making weird and severely distorted gas like sounds, and Nether Brine started torturing me. I was really scared. I opened the task manager and clicked and task on Minecraft, but it didn't work. I first turned off my computer. Thank God, it finally worked. But when I turned it on, I heard a loud, shrill scream. I was so scared. I felt like I was destroying my computer. So guys, basically what he is implying here with the story is that once you encounter Netherbrine, and if you do encounter Netherbrine, which mind you guys, we're actually going to look at the Netherbrine world that he's talking about here uh, more in depth, and we're going to go to the Nether end, which is going to be really exciting. But what he's basically saying, if you encounter here Netherbrine, sometimes like you may be able to escape, but he may lock your game down, and you won't be able to even close it via Task Manager. So the only way to escape him is force shutting off your computer. And then even if you join back into your world the next day or something, he's still going to be trying to haunt you. This is no doubt very weird. So the furthermore, our investigation on the story of Netherbrine and actually just kind of go in a hole as this creepy pasta. Let's go to create new world. And let's actually go to creative. 
Go ahead and enable that. And let's put the seed exactly as it's said in this story. You guys can follow along and try this out yourself if you would like. Now, 94 O E R B R. I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. Hopefully that's it. If there's something wrong, then I guess we just kind of messed up. But I want to go investigate this seat a little bit. Well, that's a weird spawn, huh? Uh-oh. My game's lagging. Okay, I think it's good now. My game's kind of dropping in frame rates. Normally doesn't happen, by the way, guys, so that's odd. All right. Let's go grab what we need to get to the nether. And let's see. Oh, first and foremost, we need to see if there's any trees on fire. Because that was said to be the first thing that he reported. So if we're truly debunking this nether, Brian, method, we need to see if there's any trees on fire. Okay, that's not a fire. <laughs> I saw the cocoa bean. It looked red. I was like, uh-oh. We have a ravine here. Very dried up ravine. No water or lava for that matter. We have a uh, jungle here. Could hold uh, some very great potential. Got some floating blocks of sore. Nothing too unusual. Nothing too unusual. Pretty common. Pretty common there. No doubt, no doubt. I don't see nothing on fire, guys. If you see anything, post a timestamp below. I do see that temple there. We got the coordinates on the screen if you guys want to come here. Um, so I only imagine, usually giant jungles have like a ton of uh, temples nowadays. It's weird. I don't judge it. I only enjoy it. I indulge in it. Um, all right, so that's, that's wholesome. Well, guys, let's just go ahead and head to the nether. Let's do it. And let's see what awaits us in the nether. Dun, 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 dun. See what we got. Building terrain. Oh my god. Where is this? It's an endless pit to nothing. Guys, look at this. There's nothing there. Oh, okay, here it goes. I was like, what? Okay, that slime just jumped off. For no Wait, oh, I forgot Endermen are in the nether. Jesus, guys, I don't come to the nether often. I forgot Endermen live here. Jeez, guys, that was a weird spot. Look at this, we on a cliff, man. Legit, you walk in and like you take one step and boom, you're dead. You just walk out, guys. You gotta be careful. My god, I didn't expect us to spawn on a cliff. There's actually a lot of Endermen here. This is unusual. I wasn't expecting to see no Endermen. It's kind of creepy, though. I don't know about this whole Nether Brian thing, guys. Might have to pass on all the offers there. It's just odd. Heck is this? Yeah, guys, definitely a little scared. This is weird, guys. Uh, you guys can try this out for yourself. We're gonna cut this video here, guys. Uh, I'm limited on time right now, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to hit that like button. I will see you all. When I see you all, which will be tomorrow, guys. So be sure to turn on. Who makes it to the end of these videos? Probably no one, huh? No, uh, but yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks so much. I love you guys so much.